Okay, hello everyone. So I just bought this aluminum box that goes in the back of this truck. And it's like a industrial camper or industrial canopy, but I'm going to convert it into a camper. Maybe I'll live in it, I don't know, we'll see. But the company that owned it had their their sticker on the back here, but I'm gonna have to sand that off or something. This is what it looks like from the back. It's got a big door on it. Opens right up. And so it's kind of been collecting a lot of stuff in here. Um, my uncle so kindly gave me these windows to put in the sides, but I think I'm gonna go get some different ones. I don't think I'm gonna use these ones. Um, anyways, this is it. I'm gonna put some windows in it. Um, gonna put an opening window in the door here and put this glass up front because it's cracked. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it has a big crack in it. So I'm just gonna start by cleaning everything out of here because it's kind of messy and I'm gonna start taking these kind of shelves out and then just give it a good clean. Don't ask me why there's a tire in here. I don't know. better look inside now it's clean sort of take all these this is my inverter I might use that later I'm gonna put a solar panel on top I think Just came with some perks. Got some nice glasses here. That's uh, it's not bad. Um, a bottle of cutting fluid. Mm, very nice. And something else. I don't know what it is. As you can see here, uh, I've found many lost zip ties, and you can never have too many zip ties. Okay, so I've done some sweeping, cleaned it out quite a bit. Now I'm trying to pull this plywood floor out. It's kind of wet under here, which isn't so good. But I'm gonna try and pull this out. Let's see how yeah, that works. Well, got the floor out. Now it's got this nice insulation under here, which is kind of good. It's all wet though, which isn't good. I'm gonna take this big scraper and try and scrape all the foam off. We'll see how that works. But, yes. 
nasty. That needed to come out. Look at that. That's gross. Just take a look. How many more loose like, screws and stuff there are in here? There's like a centipede in there too. Pretty much all stripped out. Pretty good echo in here now. So, uh, good way to tell there's nothing left. Yeah, the next couple things I'm gonna do, I'll clean this out. I gotta take this window off. Been looking for like a boat, a window hatch that will open out on the door because when this thing's in the truck, it the tailgate can close on it, which is fine. But if I'm sleeping in this and some weirdo decides to close the tailgate on me, I'm kind of locked inside, which isn't a very good thing. So if I can find a boat hatch that's around this size, then I'll have more ventilation and I can open, open my tailgate from inside if, if somehow I get locked in. Then I'm actually going to pick up a canopy tonight and I'm going to put windows in the sides. So that's another thing I'm gonna do. That's kind of the plan right now. As far as the layout for the actual camper goes, I'm still kind of undecided. I wanna do a big bed in the middle that can fold up to some, some sort of a seating area and with some storage underneath. But anyways, I'll keep working away at it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's a new day today and last night, I went and picked up this canopy, which has nice windows on it. And these windows, they've got screens on them and they've got like a little locking device here. And they open right up. And they're slightly tinted, which is kind of nice. So, unfortunately they have a little tear right here, but maybe I can fix that. So what I'm gonna do, I bought this canopy, I was looking online and windows were like, for a pair were like $400 or something. They're really expensive for like camper windows and stuff. So I figured I bought this canopy for $150. I'm just gonna take all the windows out of it and I'll use these two side ones for sure. Then maybe I'll try and use these, these little ones too. And then maybe I'll try and sell, sell the front and back windows and then I'll just, get rid of the canopy which is kind of a shame but it's cheaper that way so anyways pretty excited about that Ooh, this is a messy place what do I need Okay, let's take them out. There's one. Two. So a little guy. <sighs> got them. Got two of these little triangular windows. Two of the main windows, which I'm most excited about. And then we got this front window, which I probably won't use. And then I think I'll take this off. And probably won't use it either, but I'll take it off. Let's test fit these windows here. Not bad, not bad. I think that'll look good, actually. I don't know if this will fit or not. But I was thinking at one point that I'd want to have a slider so I could like get into the cab somehow on the front. But I'm pretty sure this window's too big though. But let's see. Huh. 
that actually might be perfect. I don't know if that's that's right to the edge. Oh, I guess it's over here. I don't know if that's kind of taking away a bit of the structural rigidity or whatever you'd want to call it. Uh, but that would be really cool if I could put this in at the front, get more ventilation, and then I could see all the way back there too. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, little side note, I also found these cool lights that I took off the canopy and they work. Uh, they're like cool bright yellow lights. Look kind of old too. Nice. Okay, so it's another new day now and today I'm going to try and polish up the sides and the front or the back whatever you want to call it of the camper because it's all pretty ugly they had like a let's, I'll show you on the front they had like a wrap on it and they tried taking off their decals but it was all they scratched it up pretty good and they didn't finish taking it off here so like there's still a whole bunch on the front and I think I'll just peel it all off and then try and polish it. I went down to the store and bought this like polishing disc uh, from my angle grinder. So I'm gonna give that a try. Okay, so I got all of this wrap off here. I got, I'm gonna try this, um, my angle grinder. Um, yeah, just gonna try it back here because then if it doesn't go well, no one will really see it. So, <laughs> see how it works. <laughs> Well, um, it's definitely not corroded looking, but it's making all these lines. So <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing either. So I ended up just, um, using the angle grinder with that polishing disc on the whole thing just to get all of that stuff off. And it doesn't look very good still, but I think I'm just gonna paint it now. just about to die but I cut two holes in the camper for these windows to go in and I still have to kind of clean them up with a, a grinder a little bit but 
It's definitely looking more like I could sleep in there now. Um, this is kind of how the windows will fit. So yeah, they need some cleanup so that they'll fit in. So I guess I cut them a little bit, a little bit small. I didn't want to cut them too big, so I'll have to clean them up so they'll fit in nicely. But the window's gonna sit in like that. And then, got this other one here. And it's gonna sit, sit in there, right just like that. And yeah, pretty exciting. Cool. So that's gonna be it for this video, and I'll come up with another one when I get my start finishing the inside, and I'll probably order some solar panels too, hopefully in the next video. So cool. Thanks for watching.